What's up? My name is Brian. I sing for Knock Loose. We're in Chicago at uh, the Bottom Lounge. We're on tour right now on our uh, headlining tour with uh, Terror, Jesus Peace, and Year of the Knife. And we're going to show you around our van. Uh, this is the driver's seat. You can tell I wasn't driving last because I always keep the wheel as low as it can go. And I always scoot the seat up because I've got little legs. Um, it's very messy. Uh, we have been uh, on tour now for three and a half weeks or so. So it's garbage is full. We got honey for uh, people who are sick. Uh, we have Tums for people who are sick. More medicine. You can definitely tell that it's uh, been a cold tour. Um, Tech Deck, air fresheners, pretty standard except for all the trash. We always try to keep a case of water in the van. Um, these are actually gifts that our friend Koba brought us. I'll try to get the garbage out of the way. Um, from Japan. Our friend Koba sings for a band called Loyal to the Grave. And he flew he flew over to America to hang out with us on tour for a couple days. And he just left recently. So these are some gifts that he left us. Um, driving is usually split pretty equally. Um, I know our drummer, Paxson, does a lot of the driving. Um, he used to more so than he does now. Now I'd say it's a little bit more even. But all of us drive except for our guitar player, Isaac. Um, Isaac joined the band when he was too young to drive and he didn't have his license. So when he got his license, we kept the joke going that he was not allowed to drive. And uh, he still isn't allowed to drive. Um, as far as radio, uh, our radio does not work. Um, a lot of headphones, a lot of not talking to each other. Um, every, every time we tell people that, they're like, oh my god, you're crazy, Like, how do you do it? It does suck, uh, but this van has just never had a radio. Our old van had a radio, and this is a funny story. One day, we were on a tour where like it was freezing outside, and it was our bass player Kevin's birthday, which is Valentine's Day, and he was like, play that song I like. And I went to turn the radio up and I pulled the entire radio out of the van. And I did not mean to, and I didn't pull, but it just fell, it collapsed. So we actually haven't had music for a very long time. Um, I usually just listen to headphones. I've been listening to a lot of, uh, honestly, the bands that we're on tour with. Um, I know Year of the Knife is bringing out a new record soon and I was lucky enough to get a sneak peek of it before it comes out. So I've, I've been obsessed with that. Um, and I really like to listen to the bands that we're on tour with when we're not playing shows. I don't know, uh, it's weird, but I know our guitar player does the same thing. Okay, so this is kind of how we sleep. Um, like I said, excuse the mess. This is a camping mattress. We took out one of the benches and replaced it with this camping mattress. We call it the dad pad. Um, it's our drummers. He brings in, he's lucky enough to let everybody sleep on it. So we usually have two sleeping here, which our merch girl is actually my girlfriend. So we usually take this spot and sleep together. But this is very convenient. I know that I've seen several other bands do this as well. Um, I would say the only bad thing about this right here is it gets a lot of foot traffic. So it, it tends to get pretty dirty. People coming in and out, trying to get back to the benches and whatnot. Um, I'll hop in. The way that we have it set up now is everybody has a place to lay down if you're not driving or sitting in the front. So we have two right here, one, 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 and it goes all the way back. We have an extra dad pad right here in case we stay at a friend's house. We'll pull that in, put it on the ground, that'll sleep an extra two. So that helps a lot. We have more water. And um, something that I'm really, really bad about and the band gets really, really mad at me for is I just stuff all my clothes so like under the bench is just nothing but my clothes. Um, but yeah, pretty standard. I think from here on out, we're going to put this pad in the back and leave that bench up here so that there's not as much foot traffic. Something that I, I used to do, I haven't done it as much on this tour. This tour is a little bit more crowded than the tours that we've usually done as far as the van because we brought more people this time. But I'm, I usually hide food everywhere. Like, we'll go out to eat, and I will get something to go, and then I'll just hide a to-go box somewhere in the van. So, like, if at any point I'm hungry, 
I'll just pull food out of nowhere. And everybody's like, where do you keep pulling this food from? Um, but yeah, that's, that's basically it. We usually have a ton of wires because chargers are going all over the van. We got a lot of uh, 10 foot chargers. So um, I cleared those out of the way because it's just a jumbled mess. But I'm usually sleeping right here and I've usually got wires over me and under me and like everywhere that they can be. This is uh, this is usually Kevin, our bass player's bench. Um, we've got a lot of shoes. Shout out to Vans. We were lucky enough to play the Vans headquarters the other day in California. That was a lot of fun. Um, a neck pillow. He's got like th three or four pillows on this tour. I don't know why, but I don't even have one. <laughs> I, I spilled Mountain Dew all over my old pillow and I threw it in the garbage and he's just back here sleeping with four pillows. This is usually our TM Colin. Uh, he sleeps right here. Um, he doesn't really have anything. This is actually merch that we took out of the trailer and put here because we we're out of room in our trailer. Um, Kevin's got video games. He just bought a, a Nintendo Switch and he's making me really want to buy one as well. But uh, this is Zelda Breath of the Wild. He said it was one of the best video games he's ever played. So he's got that back here. Um, empty cigarette packs everywhere. Um, and then back here this is typically our guitar player Cole's bench but he shares it with our drummer Paxson a lot um, so we've got Paxson's sleeping bag and then we also have Cole's slides he uh, never goes anywhere without his slides he usually puts those on as soon as we're done playing so we use this area it's kind of extra storage so it looks very jumbled but we have, these are show clothes, these are extra snacks that usually just get stepped on. Um, we have a box of like posters and old shoes, uh, like I said, the Nintendo, just a bunch of mess. This is usually how uh, anybody that's sleeping here, they usually get in through the back, they'll open the door and hop on over. Um, it's just easier than having to crawl over everybody else which is why these chips get demolished and stepped on. <laughs> Thanks for taking a look at the van. I'm Brian. It's been fun. Come out and see us at a show. I'm sure we'll be on tour at some point near you. We never stop touring. Um, buy our album, Laugh Tracks. It's available literally everywhere. Um, thanks.